this is on today's video this image right here and we are going to use these images right here Okay, first thing to do is to get rid of all these backgrounds. So I'm just use the pen tool for this one. Create a mask and I left these areas here because I'm going to use this grass as the original one. So probably just going to add another background and leave these grass as it is need to remove this part also so make selection and want pixels and press D and control backspace now let's fix all the all the edges create a solid color pick a neutral color gray and select the mask I'm gonna leave this for now and see how it will look with the new background maybe edit it later on okay so I got these girls here I'm just gonna pick the left one doesn't matter which one you use just pick one and remove the background with a pen tool again Okay, now let's make her hair a little bit better. So, create the solid color again. And select the mask. I get rid of all that green. And drop the shift edge. Even make this like a hard edge so it doesn't look like she just woke up but she has her hair nicely done just brush it away Okay, let's put this in a new file. So I rasterize this layer and drag it in a new file. Make a smart object. And let's make this smaller. Like that. And same goes for the girl. Drag it in a new file. Smart object and press Command to Control T to make it smaller. Oh, wrong file, this one. We have this giant gorilla and this is the background I found. So I'm copy it and paste it in our new file. Don't need that tree there. I just like this because it had this grass going like up on that hill and I think it will blend very nice with this grass. So I'm just gonna put it like that. And now let's see. This is fine. Now we need to extend this 
little piece here. So let me rasterize this layer of the gorilla. Select this bottom part, copy it, paste it, and make it bigger. We can flip this horizontal so we don't see a pattern there like that. And let's make a mask and get rid of this hard edge. This right here. Crush that a little bit. All right, that is fine. Let's make this one layer. So select both layers, press Ctrl E. Now, we have shadows here and here from this gorilla. So I'm assuming the sun is like somewhere on this side in front of it. So I need to make sure that her shadow is also going like that way. So not this way, but that way. So I'm just copying this layer of her. Press Ctrl U to open up the hue and saturation. Bring down lightness to make it black and press Command to Ctrl T free transform. Hold down Ctrl or or Command and just bring it down like that. Make this looks fine. Put it behind her and. So the opacity and let's blur this out a little bit so filter blur caution blur something like that and we can even make a mask of it select the gradient tool press D so you have white to black and get rid of the top part just a little bit lighter all right now let's put this in folders this is our girl. This is our gorilla. This is our, our gorilla. This is our background. PG. Now I want to get rid of all this like really light green, fluor green. So I'm just going to create a Unity Trace layer. Press this button and click on that green and just bring it all down. So we get rid of all that green. It doesn't match this background because it's really dark there. Not, not so much green. Maybe even also like that. All right, that's a lot better. Now we need to. Oh, I can see a line here. So I need to move this a little bit up. Oh, we can. Ah, damn, I rasterized it. So it's gonna do a little bit of. With the clone stem tool, get rid of that line. It isn't the best way, but. I'm just too lazy to go back and do it over, so I'm just going to leave it like that. All right, now let's make her feet like a little bit in the grass. So this is our girl. Need to make a mask of her. Then go to legacy brushes, default brushes, and pick the grass, grass brush. Make sure you bring these up and open up the brush settings, get rid of the color dynamics and make sure you have black selected. So like she's standing a little bit between the grass. Just a little detail to make it look more realistic. All right, that is fine, I think. Maybe 
just a couple more. And let's do some more shadows here. So this is our girl. I will create a new layer underneath her. And just pick a general brush, soft round. Bring this all the way down to about 20, 30%. Now let's pick something like this green and make it darker because we are going to change this blending mode to multiply, make it more realistic. And let's brush these parts, especially here. So our light is from the left side, so we need some more shadows on the right side. Probably a little bit here. Maybe not too much or else it just looks nasty, especially on the points where it starts. So like these areas, and maybe a little bit here, maybe a little bit on this guy. and drop down the opacity. Maybe a little bit more like that. All right, now let's remove some color from her. So create the UN situation layer. Press this one and move some color. Okay, so we have a light from this side. So we need to make some areas of her darker. So I'm just gonna do some brightness and contrast first. A little bit less brightness because she's too bright and a curse layer. So we make some areas darker, especially the highlights and select the brush and make the left area lighter again. So pick a black brush, make sure to bring the opacity and flow up again and make like this side lighter, probably some lights coming here. This is probably a darker area, so I'm leaving it dark and this one can be lighter. Light areas here, probably a little bit here. Same for the feet, the legs, right areas. This leg is sticking out, so we need like just this part lighter. If we can drop the opacity for this one. Like that and this side again. And some hair here. All right, now we need to do some dodge here. So I'm gonna create a new layer, create a clipping mask. 50% gray with the fill, overlay, blending mode, and select the touch tool. Let's bring this to around 50. Gonna make sure these 
left side of her is like lighter than all the rest so probably also these pieces of her clothes that's sticking out it will just make the image look softer so this area so her watch these parts a little bit here and her hair and like this lighten up areas of her hair To her feet here, her legs. So we have this nice light reflection from this side. Here. All right, let's not do it too much or else we'll just ruin the image. It like that. Right, then you have to do the same, but now to make areas darker. So I'm gonna need the burn tool. Let's do the highlights first. This area is probably maybe less exposure. So probably darker areas around here. This side. So between her dress here, this area, And like here, maybe not so much, a little bit here, behind her hair. So this was before and this is after. Maybe I did too much here for the, for the dodge tool, so I'm just gonna Make it a little bit darker. And now let's do some mid tones. Bring the exposure down. Make the brush bigger. Just brush these areas again that we just did. But I can see I did a little bit too much here, so it looks like she just didn't shower or something we don't want that and some shadows all right her hand is a little bit missed here but i'll just leave it for now let's drop the opacity because it's too much say around 80 90 and let's do the same for this gorilla. So create a new layer on top of the gorilla. Create a clipper mask. Fill it 50% gray. And I forgot this. And change it to overlay. And let's do some Dutch again. So, left side lighter.
like uh, they want to do it too much because he has his this fur color it's like almost white so i will just make everything too white and don't don't want that so let's do some burnout highlights first these areas here so probably grass here behind it is a little bit darker around this these areas and probably this oh this was before and this is after well, let's drop this opacity also And let's do some Yun situation. To get rid of this green. And this background is way too green, so I'm just gonna add some Yun situation to this background. You can just select the green only, so I'll just do the color picker and drop all the green and make it a little bit darker. Can even drop this more, but I'm just gonna create a new your situation for everything like that. So this grass blends in together. You can barely see where I cut this out, so it's okay. Now we need to make some. This is way too. To gray or whatever it's called this area so we need to make some curves this is from our gorilla layer and let's make less these let's leave that there and bring this down a little bit now i'm just gonna press d and then control backspace to delete it again and Bring it back on these parts here. So it's a little bit darker. This is before this after. It looks better. I feel like she's a little bit too dark, so I'm just gonna add this curves layer a little bit. Again, increase this just slightly or just drop the opacity. So she's a little bit lighter now. And let's move this gorilla a little bit up. Let's make sure it stays in this square I have. And let's move her a little bit down. Maybe he's watching like this way. Make sure he stays, she stays in this zone of his eyes. And we have to fix this grass again because this layer so I need this fix this grass here so I'm just gonna duplicate this whole gorilla layer rasterize it with ctrl e and move this down and get rid of this top part and let's flip this again so we don't see a pattern here Maybe make it bigger. It isn't really nice, but you'll get the point. I'm gonna change the background a little bit. So I'm just copying this and paste it in the folder from the background. Make smart object. Uh, put it above the layer of the background grass. And let's resize this. And make a mask. Take the gradient tool, press D on your keyboard and make like this line. I'm just gonna brush some parts away so I can bring back the clouds. So I'm gonna brush away some parts of this mountain. So select the mask of it and take a black brush. I'm gonna put this into Lightroom and apply one of my presets. 
Okay, got this into Lightroom. Just gonna apply the first preset. It's what I usually use. And anyways, that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and see you in the next one.